This is a presentation about the eight queens problem. My name is Alan Doran. You don't need to have revised anything before you start this video. The presentation stands alone. You don't need to know the rules of chess. We'll explain the relevant rules as we go. And yes, the queens we refer to in the title of the problem are queens on a chessboard. So here we have a chessboard. It's eight by eight squares of alternating colors. The lower left corner, as you face the board from either end, is black, just so that you know you've oriented the board properly. Here you can see a queen has been placed on the board. Queens don't like to uh, occupy the same space. You can't place two pieces on the chessboard in the same square. In addition to that, when it comes to queens, you can't place two queens in the same row. So a, a, a queen threatens all other queens in her row, and she'll be threatened by another queen, of course, in her row. Neither can you place two queens in the same column, because they threaten one another in this arrangement also. So for instance, if I tried to place two queens like this in a shared row, and the one on the left was here first, then the second one would actually be threatened by the first one, and vice versa. So in actual fact, the second one can't really co-occupy this row. The first queen could probably take the second queen, if this was a game of chess. And the same is true for the columns, so I couldn't place another queen in the same column as the first queen. Now, in addition to the columns and rows, just to make things even more difficult, a queen also threatens and is threatened by the two diagonals. So I can't place another queen in either of these locations. Now that really restricts the number of squares that I can place a second queen after I have my first on the board. And here you can see, shaded in pink, all of the locations that are threatened by the queen that's currently on the board. That's her row, her column, and her two diagonals all the way to the edge of the board. Still, if you have a look, you can see plenty of locations where I could potentially place another queen. For instance, here's one location that's not shaded in pink and is therefore not threatened, in this case, by the first queen. Now, once I place that second queen on the board, she too occupies her row, her column, and her two diagonals all the way to the edge of the board. So if I want to place a third one, as you can see, we're getting more and more restricted in the available squares that aren't threatened by either of the two queens that are currently on the board. Still, there are plenty of locations available. So, here's one. I could place a third queen in this corner down near the bottom left of the board. Once I place the third queen, then she too occupies a row, a column, and her two diagonals to the edge of the board. And we further restrict the number of squares available for more queens. Now, the eight queens problem then is to try and place eight queens on the board in such a way that they don't threaten one another. In summary, place eight queens on a chessboard so that none threatens any other along a row, column, or a diagonal. Thanks for watching.